Hello. Welcome back, I think. I'm Lucky, and this is Chime, and I'm going to play a little more of Fallout New Vegas, just for you. We're playing this Bethesda game <laughs> in anticipation of the release of Starfield in a few weeks, and all of us here at the ACK gaming family are really looking forward to playing that game. So we're revisiting some of our old favorites, such as the Fallout series, the Skyrim, Elder Scrolls series, Skyrim, and right now I'm going to play Fallout New Vegas, which I haven't played in a while. I have played a lot of Fallout 4, but not this one, so it would be kind of fun to revisit. Charms and I have delved into the world a little bit, but I'm going to delve a little deeper. Let's get started, shall we? Now I'm sure many of you would like me to go out venturing into the world, starting some kind of ruckus, blasting folks with my bats, and getting in all sorts of shenanigans and hijinks, causing a hullabaloo. But I'm going to go into this saloon and talk. Old Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Well, hold on there a minute. We had more dialogue options. And I like to go through all of this. Ah, uh, okay. So we have to go out. Because I chose the first dialogue option, I'm going to have to finish that one, follow it all the way through until... We can go to the next thing. Ooh, fixing things. I don't want to steal it, but I want to use it. Yeah, I think you could. Will steal anybody it. see me if I steal? Is anybody around? I'm hidden. Yes. Well, I lost karma. See, no big deal. But if I read it, karma karma is a big deal. If you ask my friend Taylor. Mm. Yes. Fixing things. Good job being a swifty. Is this only temporary repair plus ten, or is this permanent repair? I'll wait till I have to repair something, then I'll use it just in yeah. case. Not sure if it's permanent or temporary. Well, it's got all the music. Yeah. Which one has three dogs? I think these are missing somewhere. Where did she go? She went outdoors here. I think we're shooting cans or something. There's a big old Brahmin over there. Look at that. Yeah. There she is. Is this her? Is this someone else? Hey, that's her. Barment rifle, nice. Oh, nice. Shoot three sarsaparilla bottles outside the Prospector Saloon. Where are the sarsaparilla bottles? Oh, it's already equipped. Where are the bottles? She looks like she would be facing the bottles. I don't see any sarsaparilla bottles. I don't know where I fall. Aha! Uh -huh. They're behind you. So what is she looking at right now? Let's be honest. Sunny, uh, smile this way because the bottles are behind you. I know. Yeah, there we go. All right. Let's see if I can do this manually. We don't need bats. Uh, maybe we do. I missed. <laughs> oh, I can't do bats with this. Let's just get a little closer, shall we? I believe I'm wasting all my ammunition on this. <laughs> well, you didn't even have to pull it. Would you like to try one? Uh, sure. See if you can hit one of those sarsaparilla bottles. So do I just left or left trigger to shoot? Or do nope, I you use right, right trigger to shoot. There you go! Your first it. try! Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's good. You did it perfectly. You did it exactly what we needed to do. So it just get those away from our water supply. Mm. Brown critters are attracted to it. Okay, let's go for the geckos. A little more tutorial. I'll follow you. Oh, and a cool puppy dog. 
Cheyenne. Cheyenne, I don't care. No, no, no. I don't want to zoom in on them. <laughs> that was unintentional. No, no, no. She's like, are you, are you faxing me? There we go. I just want to finish the question. I like third person, which is another great feature of the Bethesda games. I would love to do first person all the time, and I know pretty much everybody who's watching this, all thousands of you that are watching this, all prefer first person. That's been pretty bad. But there are a few of us who are watching, three or four of us, who get a little bit nauseous in first person. It's not a choice, not something I'm happy with, but it makes me dizzy, it makes me a little nauseous. Sometimes a lot nauseous. That's okay, Dad. Please. Thank you for your empathy. You're welcome. And that's what makes Bethesda Games special. Is you get to choose perspective. Yeah, exactly. Let me change my radio station. Is three not going to work? Maybe I'm thinking it's Fallout 3. Mm -hmm. I believe I'm listening to the last week. Maybe I have to be in a different part of town for three days. I don't remember. Alright, that sounds fun. Do you want to try this part? Or do you want me to do it? It's completely up to you. Huh? I don't Yeah, but I could do this. I've done this multiple times in my life. It's kind of fun to do. So first you got to crouch. Click on left stick. And please don't shoot Cheyenne or Sunny Smiles or pickpockets. <laughs> so you can do that later to crook people we don't care for. Remember to use your right stick to look up a little more. You'll see better. There you go. And when you see a gecko, hit right bumper. That'll give you the vats to make it easier to hit them. You're heading towards that water tank on the right. Yep, see that? I don't see anything yet. Right bumper? Mm-hmm. I don't care. Can I turn and take You're doing great. You can go as fast or slow as you want. There's no losing it for me, remember. We have saved the game, so you can't lose caution. it. So hit right bumper. Usually if you see caution, that means there's something in your view. Now wait. You can't shoot at it yet because it's behind something, so you probably won't hit it. Yeah. So just hit B. You could actually hit right stick, left or right, and see if there are any others in view. If there aren't, then just hit B. Not click left stick, right stick, but if you use right stick, it'll like switch to the oh, next target okay. if there are multiple targets. Nope, can't shoot him yet. Why don't you get a little closer? See if he'll come up from the other Oh, he's coming at you! He's coming at you! Wait till he's closer. Wait till he's wait till his torso's at like 90. But he looks amazing. That is a funny looking creature. Go for it, go for it. No, wait, hit right trigger, right trigger, right trigger. As many times as you can. Just keep clicking. And then hit A and they'll shoot twice. She'll shoot twice automatically. Oh, gotta shoot it again. Just hit right trigger, right trigger. Oh, right bumper. Nope, right trigger. Bumper. Bumper trigger. Well, get this one in front of you first. Go ahead, right trigger. You don't have any vats left, so you're just going to have to hit B and just use right trigger on its own without vats. So it'll be fine. Hit B and just hit right trigger. There you go. Now it's the next one. Yeah! Oh, wow. Nice shooting, Tex! Wow! Give me five. five. Way to kill those awesome. radiated monsters. Good. Yes, they're significantly bigger than yeah, traditional I, geckos. I thought they were just like like geckos. Well, it's because they, they, they had that really funny lizard run at you, too. It's just because, remember, this is a world post in post-apocalyptia, yeah, after yeah. some atomic uh, uh, wars. You don't mind taking some gecko high? Not above eating some occasional gecko meat? I'm a bit of a collector. Yeah. Tempting to even take this bucket. Can I carry it? Sometimes in the Bethesda games, if, if you see like a bucket, you can pick it up and move it somewhere and even plop it right on top of someone's head so they can't see you stealing things from their shop. Oh, <laughs> smart. It's the old Skyrim trick. It doesn't look like you can pick them up in this, though. I just like putting buckets on people's heads for no reason in that game. The first time I figured it out was a magical moment. <laughs> Put buckets on people's heads? Mm-hmm.
put your weapon away when you oh you have to hold it there you go thanks sonny oh there are my well secrets sure i'll come with you would you like to do more gecko killing no Indeed. Good for the plants. Oh, well, three of them. See how you can use the right stick to switch between targets? Oh, yeah. That's so you beautiful. could, you know, shoot one of them in the head, switch over, and aim at another one. See if I can hit all three. No, I only have enough AP, so it's that just for two shots here. So I'll shoot it one, then I'll shoot the other. Oh, nice shot, me. <laughs> so you don't even have to. Oh, look at this. Cheyenne hit it. Good job, Cheyenne. What a good girl. Good girl. Where'd Sunny go? Sunny? Sunny? Sunny! Well, I reckon Sunny got herself into a little pickle. We'll just save that mystery for another time. Until then, this has been ACK Gaming. I'm Lucky. And I'm Charmed. Till next time, you can join us in another Bethesda-themed adventure. So long. Bye.